One of them dared the group to get this, get into bed with your wife, put this on your lap, and then video her reaction. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. So happy that you're here. You guys, happy Tuesday. As I was walking out of the gym today, I did a quick little story. Right before I started, I was thinking, this is the best Monday ever, until I realized it wasn't Monday. It's not Monday today. We always get thrown off when the kids have a day off of school. I was like, what, what day is it? They were home yesterday and that was a lot of fun. Today, the kids are back at school. You guys, we have a lot of exciting things going on today. One of them being, they're going to bring the mirrors for the gym. We've asked your guys' opinion so much. We asked on social media, Instagram, at this is how we bingham. And do you know what? A lot of you actually said not to do the mirrors. But then when we showed it in a video, explained it on camera, this is what we're thinking. We're using the weight rack and you'll have the mirror right in front of you to make sure you're doing the exercise correctly. After some of you saw it in the video, you're like, actually, I take it back. It does need the mirrors. We were kind of leaning towards that. So they're going to bring the mirrors today and install them. And I'm super happy because it's going to be really cool looking. And then they'll come tomorrow and remount the TV. And you have to be very careful because you're working with glass. If you like screw in something too tight, it could shatter the whole thing. You know, we just want it up to them. So kind of scary. <laughs> Curious to see how the whole thing goes, like what the mirrors look like when they come in because when they installed all of that, that was during the phase of when we couldn't be here for two weeks when they were staging our house. We didn't see any of that happen. I don't think so anyways. I don't remember it. Very exciting. I have a meeting at the school today. So you guys, I just dress like super comfy. I got, you guys know, I don't know if you guys know, but Lates by Kate on Instagram. She sells like my most favorite pajamas. Pajamas. They're so amazing. You came out with this really cute sweatshirt that says ciao. Well, I bought this wearing my new jeans from my weekend trip with Stephanie. And I'm headed to the school. It's raining and drizzly outside. I'm like, I just want to be comfortable. I put on sweatshirt and jeans. I'm wearing jeans, okay? I'm wearing grown up clothes. So today is my jeans look. Tonight I have a really awesome opportunity to go to a really special meeting. This one I can tell you about. So I'll tell you about this one. I'll bring you guys along with me. But it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to hang out on this drizzly, wet Monday, Tuesday morning. It's going to be a good day. You guys, bad news bears. They came in. I was curious to see how they do it all. So they put the corner of the mirror on this thing and stand it up so they don't like break that edge. They were getting everything mounted. Everything was good to go. They realized that the holes that they had cut for the bracket for the TV was in the wrong spot. So they actually had to take one full panel back to the business and they are going to have to bring an entirely new piece. So that's a bummer. I have to leave, so I may not get to see them bring it back, but we'll see if Brandon can capture that. He is still working. Vlog might go out just a smidge late, but guys, this is gonna be really awesome. It looks like a total disaster in the gym. And after we're all done with the construction in here, I'm definitely gonna clean because it's a little dusty. Everything is black, so everything shows the dirt. Very excited, very, very excited to have mirrors. This whole section right here. Okay, you guys, I just came down here. They left just a bit ago. And look, it is all complete. They even hung up the TV for us. What do you think? I like it. Do you like it? I actually really like it. I think it looks really good. And as you're using this machine, you can have directly across from you the mirror. Make sure you're doing your squats right, Hazy. Show me how to do a squat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> kind of like that, yeah, good job. <laughs> I need to clean the mirror, it's really dirty. I love it. It's so cool. Does it like, look so actually, cool? Actually, when I stood up from the hot, you can like see yourself and everything. And honestly, it just makes the room seem so much bigger. It really does. Like, I really like it. They weren't able to like connect the TV from the bottom, so we've got to figure that out. Other than that, everything is done and ready. Rye Guy helped me move all the weights back. We wiped them all off. They look great. Water look connected. The only thing I don't like, I need to fix this. You can see the back of this because it's in the mirror. That's okay, right? Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. 
super glad that that is done today. It looks amazing. Can't wait for Brandon to see it. You guys, Brandon is down for the count. He is not feeling well at all. He woke up the kids, got them up, and as soon as I got home from the gym, he just went back to bed for a little while, put the video up. It ended up going up late because he's like, my head is pounding so bad, I can't even think straight. And then we had some things go on and happen here at the house while he was supposed to be editing and he just couldn't. So video went up late, just feeling awful. And after the video went up, he went back to bed. He's been in bed all day. So between the two of us, between me being in the emergency room on Sunday and him not feeling well, just a doozy. He is resting. You guys get mostly me today. I'm so sorry. You guys, thanks for being here. The kids are having fun. They have friends over. Crew has a friend coming over right now. Ryler's had a friend over. Hazy and Brexton have been awesome, but we were just snuggling here watching Wonka. We just finished it for the second time. Brandon bought it on, I think, is it on Hulu or what, Hazy? Oh, Brandon bought it on Voodoo. We're snuggling by the fire. It's just one of those like days where it's been gloomy, it's been raining the whole day, and basically just cozying inside. It's been awesome. I've got to head out and I'm making a super simple, actually I'm not making it. I just told Ryo the instructions, he's gonna do it. Yeah. We are doing a super simple dinner. I saw this on Pinterest, so I got Texas toast, garlic, butter is already on there. We're gonna spread a little bit of tomato sauce and then I have cheese, pepperoni, and Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon, the best thing alive. They're all gonna make their own little pizzas. Ryler's gonna bake them. Make sure that nobody, you know, lights the house on fire. They're so delicious. These are so delicious. So here's half of them. There's another box if they want them. Ryo guy's gonna help out tonight and they've got all their friends, so they should have plenty of little pizzas. Brixie, I'm gonna miss you tonight. Yeah, same here. I love you. Love you. All right, guys, I am here. I am alive, barely. The truth is, I'm actually feeling fine. It's a simple man cold, but I was just a little bit jealous of the attention mom was getting for her trip to the ER, so I decided to take it up a notch and just go full-blown deathbed sniffle today. I did want to jump in, though, and just mention that you may have noticed on the last couple of days, the vlog has gone out a few minutes late. If you've been here for the history of this is how we've been in over the last seven years, don't think we've ever missed a day or ever been late from a noon Mountain Standard Time upload. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, it's just been a bit of a chaotic morning and sure I wasn't feeling well but we've been able to get the vlog up on time under much more dire circumstances. The real culprit behind it I think is actually kind of a worthy one. You saw our video where we made some New Year's resolutions for how we wanted to make some changes for 2024. I'm not sure, I'm not 100% positive that this made it into the vlog but in the family sit down session that we had I talked about specifically how I wanted to change up my workload routine. The reason that I've been able to make sure that we always get it up on time every single day that we've never missed a day in probably seven years of uploading videos is because I will typically do, since we've been doing it full time, I'll do half of the overall work at night before I go to bed and I wake up and I have a comfortable amount of time to get the other half done, kind of broken it up into two sections of editing, uploading, then doing the title and the thumbnail and all those different things. So after that little New Year's resolution sesh, I decided I'm going to try and just work a lot harder in the mornings, start right away when the kids go to school, stay focused, stay dialed, and don't do any of the work the night before. So I can go to bed at the same time with Mindy, we can get into bed together, fall asleep together, watch a show together, have conversations together. A lot of things that I think are important to have that we've been probably neglecting collecting in a trade-off to make sure that we never miss getting our videos up and on time. So the only downside to that is that if there is something that comes up, there is really no wiggle room in the mornings to hit that deadline. It used to be that I had a kind of a built-in buffer intentionally so that if and when, because undoubtedly stuff does come up, we could still hit it. We could still make it on time. That was the first two times that it actually came back to bite us, I guess, a little bit. There wasn't enough time to get it done and up on time. That is the real reason behind it, just because we're trying to change things up here in 2024 and trying to get all of those things done that used to be split into nighttime version and a morning version, get everything done in the morning, and it really doesn't allow for much sidetracking or anything like that. We're continuing to dial in this process, get it nailed down perfectly because it is a priority to us that you guys can expect that at a certain time every day you will see a piece of content from us, you will see a video from us, you will be able to watch a vlog from us, and so that is a priority to us every single day. Thank you guys for your patience as a couple of the last two videos were out a little bit later than normal. But I do think it's been a very good thing as we've been able to call it a night together on the weeknights for the last while, something that we've come to really enjoy and look forward to. So thank you guys for your patience in that as we continue to dial in that process. I do think those situations where it burns us, I think are going to be very rare, very few and far between. And we just love creating these vlogs for you guys and getting them up for you every day. We want you to know and trust that you can see something from us right here on YouTube every single day. Now I'm going to go back into bed and pretend that I'm sick.
Alright you guys, just had a little drop off at the porch tonight and I had to video this because this is actually supposed to be a funny gag. I ordered this online, I got some friends, we love playing our video games, and one of them dared the group to get this, go into the room at night, get into bed with your wife, and put this on your lap, and then video her reaction. Alright guy, will you unveil whatever it is I'll be taking to bed with me tonight? Surely try. So you just put your Steam Deck on your lap? Bro. <laughs> Wait, what? <Yeah. laughs> Thank you, thank you. I love it. And she it has a pocket on the pockets. side you can put your yeah, battery pack Let's in. Let's show them what's going oh. like really quick. Oh, you can hey, come on in, sweetie. It's time for bed. <laughs> That's what you're going to see tonight, you guys. Huh? Because I'll have my Steam Deck right here, obviously. Hey, good night. Oop, nachos. <laughs> Oh, this no. thing is so cool. <laughs> uh, just you know, dare accepted. Challenge accepted. Now I have to just bring it to bed tonight. We'll see if I end up getting kicked out of bed. You are not going to believe this. I look terrible. You see the time right there? It's 11.23 p.m. I got home just a bit ago. Very tired. It has been a long day. I've actually been awake for like 19 hours at this point. I wake up in the fours. Brandon has been super sick today. He has been resting most of the day. It was exactly what I wanted him to do. Ryler was so great. Got the kids dinner. I had the opportunity. I actually didn't film any of it. I have a couple of pictures. I got invited to a very special meeting tonight. We are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and every season when it's Christmas they roll out with a really fun campaign to share about our church and they are rolling out the Easter campaign right now and I got the opportunity to go and see that and share about that. We will probably be sharing a couple of things here and there. It was a very big opportunity and I am so grateful and humbled and honored that I would be invited. It didn't look like this when I went. I had a really pretty dress on. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to go and experience that and take in the whole new campaign a message, so it'll be great. You can look forward to seeing some of that on social media. Excellent day. I'm really hoping Brandon feels better tomorrow. I told him, don't wake up. Go ahead and sleep in. I'll get the kids to school. I'll take care of everything. I'm hoping that he can be 100% soon. He got the kids down for me while I was gone all night. I'm really grateful for that. I'm gonna go get back in bed because that's where I just was. It's a much needed rest. You guys, we love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are such a huge part of our family. And we're so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.